Colts workout for a Sunday completed. We had a chance to catch up with Shane Steichen, get his thoughts on how the team operated. A lot of red zone stuff today, a lot of third down stuff today. Anthony yeah. Richardson, obviously a, a big part of the conversation out here and with Shane Steichen. Great competition. Uh, we had a lot of call-up periods, uh, and then we went in. We had a two-minute deal right there in the red zone at the 25 going in. Offense had no timeouts. They were down by eight. Had to score a touchdown and get a two-point conversion. And uh, offense 1-1, one, one, defense 1-1. One, one. Just love the competition today. Shane, you put a lot of emphasis on those call-up periods. What do you like about getting those done in practice? Well, I think it's great. I mean, it lets the guys think, right? It maximizes their, you know, you, instead of looking at a script, it's like, hey, we're going to go out and call plays. And, you know, a lot of our systems installed. And, you know, we're adding pieces bit by bit. But it's good to let those guys guys go, go out there and react and think like it's game-like. Where did you get that from? Was it more, was it something more did? Or? I think a lot of teams do it around the league, call it periods. I think most teams do it. Uh, again, I just, I, I like the competition part of it. It gets, it's good for coaches, subbing in and out, you know, getting guys in, treating it like a game. So I thought it was good. Does Anthony look more comfortable to you back in the pocket? Yeah, uh, I thought he had a heck of a day today. Um, he, he was really solid, um, made some big time throws. Obviously the two minute drive, you know, threw a nice touchdown right there in the end zone. Uh, and then the two point play, that he ran in, it was, it was pretty good to see. Preseason football is about to get started. Yeah. Any decisions have been made about how much we're going to see each quarterback? Yeah, no, we're still working through that. We'll get that decision made probably midweek or later in the week. What's oh, changed with right Anthony? I saw he wasn't in for a uh, I got to talk to the trainers. I, I, I'm not exactly sure. Yeah. What's, what's, what's changed with five? It seems like he's, like the past couple of days, all of a sudden, it's like, bam, he's really comfortable. Yeah, I mean, I think when you, you know, you get repetitions and you do things more and more and you're going to get more comfortable. And I think uh, he's, you know, gaining confidence in the system and gaining confidence with his teammates. And when you have that and you have the talent that, you know, he has, you know, it's, it's usually a good thing. What's one thing you think you have to work with them before the season on? Uh, that's a good question. Um, you know what? I think, you know, just, you know, being part of the NFL, you know, it's a big step for, you know, a college player. But, um you know, he's been really good in the meeting rooms. You know, I think, you know, sometimes it's, fa it's a fast game uh, with the NFL, and uh, we just got to keep him, you know, calm in there sometimes, and he does a hell of a job with it. So we kind of use sort of an alternating, alternating process with the, the quarterback play in the preseason, even though you haven't made your final decisions yet. But do you, uh, yeah, we'll sh we, like you said, we're still working through that. I'll give you guys, you know, some answers here later in the week. Shane, when you go with these situations, we'll take two minutes. When Anthony has, I mean, it was three plays or two plays, what, what impresses you? The, the end result or just how he's processing Just the operation of it, you know what I mean? Two minutes, I think, you know, in college it's funny because in college the clock always stops, you know, when you get a first down. And so, like, you're on the ball. There's so many different situations that come out. You know, we, we've been talking about them through the meeting rooms, and they show up. We had one last week, you know, that you know, showed in the meeting room, a game-like situation that actually came up on the practice field. And another situation that came up today, I mean, he just he was operating at a high level today. Shane just took practices this week with the game. Anything you'll change about this week, considering it's just a Tuesday, Thursday? No, I feel good where we're at. I mean, you know, I want to get these guys rested up a little bit and uh, get them ready to go for Buffalo. Anything, anything different on JT? No. Multiple back shoulder attempts to Michael Strong over the yeah. last couple of days. Um, any specific reason that that's being picked up here recently? I mean, he's a big body type guy. You know, he made some big plays the other, you know, last week or whatever. So shoot, let's keep let's keep working that. You know, it's a hard it's a hard ball to defend. So, uh, but like what Mike's asking. What's impressed you most about Daryl Baker? Uh, just his speed and his aggressiveness. He's been great in man-to-man -man coverage. You know, he's got good vision, you know, reading the quarterback's eyes. Um, I like the way he works, and he keeps improving every day. So he's a couple more. At the end of the game, and then yeah. Leonard's hand in one of them on one of the seven yeah. on sevens. How important, how much of an emphasis do you have on turnovers this year? On oh, huge. I think, you know, one of the keys to victory is win the turnover battle. You look around the league, you know, teams that win the turnover battle have, a, I think it's like 77, 75, somewhere around there to win games. You know, this league's so tight. There's so much, you know, parity in this league. And, you got to take care of the football. Hey, Coach, you you discount? Is Shaq on a discount? You saw him like going and coming yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, exactly. He's still, we're still ramping him up, uh, going through that phase with him. But I like where he's at. So I was playing. I know he like kind of walked off and like, kind of took a knee on one side. Like I was, I was just playing. Yeah. yeah. Coach, you got a tight end room. What are you seeing in the camp? Shoot, it is good. I mean, we got some guys banged up. You know, we signed a couple guys, um, but it's good to see the competitive nature of that group. It's going to be good. There's a lot of battles, you know, position camp battles going on. Tight ends is one of them. Um, but like where they're at, you know, Drew Ogletree's, you know, done some really good things. Farrell Brown's done some good things. Um, I know Jelani's banged up and Will. Uh, so we got those other guys in to come in and compete. But 
like the group as a whole, and you know we'll see how it plays out. Anthony, yeah, last one here now. Connected on multiple deep balls through training camp, get a get a really big reaction from the fans. Yeah, um, has there been a specific emphasis on that deep threat with those two and the rep before their? Yeah, players? I mean, I think when you got a guy that has speed, you know, with uh, Alex Speed, you know, he's got a chance to hit some big ones over the top and shoot. He made a heck of a throw, you know, and just the call up period to him. I'm, it was a one on one backside, and we had another combination over there, and he snapped back and threw that one on one, and uh, it's a great throw and a great catch. All right. That's Shane Steichen. You've got to, you've got to resist the temptation to hope for too much too soon out of uh, Anthony Richardson. Anthony Richardson is going to make mistakes. He's going to screw stuff up, but he looks so good out there comparatively I, because that's what this game is, right? It's a comparative venture. And as you look at Anthony Richardson, then you look at Gardner Minshew, then you look at Sam Ellinger. You can see why Anthony Richardson was taken with the fourth overall pick, and you develop some expectations as he's playing against air, really, non, mostly non-contact. Yeah, they're in pads, but mostly non-contact. You can see why they took him number four, like I said, and you can see why people are going to get excited. And as you watch him in the preseason, starting next Saturday in Buffalo, you're going to get really, really excited. Resist that because he ain't going to be perfect this year.